The desert hides a lot of nasty surprises, but if you live in Vegas, do you have to worry about scorpions? This is a video we're doing today. Let's talk about those nasty little things called scorpions right now. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Not Leaving Las Vegas, a full-time Vegas resident talks to you about the real life in Vegas. Okay, so nothing 563019 asked scorpions. Do you have an issue with them? Have you ever had to deal with them? So we're going to talk about that today. If you are new to the channel, I want you to do me a huge favor. If you love Vegas or travel blogs or want to see what it's like in another place, hit the subscribe button, slam that little bell, leave us a like and a comment. I may do a video or read your comments out loud, just like I did with Mr. Nothing 563019. I got to read his name. He's got a long username. Scorpions in the desert. Have I ever had an experience with them here in the Las Vegas Valley? The answer is yes, I have. But it's not the scorpions I worry about because I am an arachnophobic in a way. And we'll talk about that in a second too. too. So the first time I came to Vegas was back in 1994, 95, somewhere around there. I had an uncle that drove a Winnebago RV motorhome from Florida all the way up to my hometown of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, picked me and the mom and the brother up and drove us all the way down to Utah and then on to Las Vegas. We stayed at a very small hotel, which I believe is gone now. It might've been rebranded. It was right next to the Hoover Dam. We went to the pool. And a lady was complaining about the scorpion in the pool. Now, scorpions are an issue in the valley. You can see in the video right next to me here that uh, the channel Whatever News did a little thing about a family living in scorpion hell. hell. Scorpion hell. It's hell. Are you ready for the scorpion hell? Um, yeah, this was an, this is and can be an issue with some folks. Uh, there was a scorpion in the pool. Now, the person that was ta the person that working at the pool, I remember him saying specifically, uh, ma'am, scorpions aren't a problem in the desert. Well, that's not necessarily true. Now, me personally, I've never seen a scorpion in any of the homes I've ever lived in. I have uh, two cats that we adopted that were feral stray cats. We feed a bunch of cats around our neighborhood. I worry about this stuff. Uh, scorpions are crazy. You know, the big black scorpions, you might see an image of them. Um, those are not the issue. The real issue is the smaller, brighter ones because the brighter the color of a scorpion, the more dangerous it is. Now, the thing that I've had problems with in pest wise where I've lived here in the valley are black widow spiders. And that is an issue. That is a seriously bigger issue, in my opinion, than scorpions. And because I have cats and because I don't like spiders to start with, it's really not all that difficult to go out a barbecue in the back and we have a little area and it's right near the, the water faucet where my hose is attached in my backyard. You'll see black widow spiders. How big do those get? Well, whereas scorpions will be, you know, anywhere from a few inches or, you know, maybe 10 centimeters down to maybe an inch, the smaller, the worse, right? And the brighter the color. Black widow spiders can get gnarly huge. And they're the ones that you see that have, you know, the red hourglass on the back if they're the female and they're venomous. I've seen them the size of a quarter and there's an idea of what a quarter looks like. You know, there it is in my hand. Those are the scary ones because they are fast and they are resilient and they do not want to be killed. So you have to be really good at killing those things. You know, we've all seen Spider-Man. We know spider webs are strong. Those spider webs are ridiculous and those things will crawl into a corner. They are very hard to get rid of. I have to get rid of them because my big black cat loves to go outside and I don't want him poking his nose in and getting stung by a black widow spider which could be a death sentence for any small child, any older person, or any small animal. So scorpions, no. Never had a problem at any of the places I've lived in. We do have a friend, though, has had scorpion issues. She's had exterminators come to her place a few times, and for whatever reason, they just can't get rid of them. But I hope I never move into a place with scorpions, and uh, buying a home here, you're good to do inspections on insects on top of your regular home inspection. Call the Orkin man, have him come over, have him tell you what you have going into that house if you're buying that house. Because you don't wanna buy a place stuck with scorpions or black widows or rats or mice or any kind of other pests that might live in a place where the coldest it ever gets is maybe a few degrees below freezing a couple of times a year. A place where the most resilient creatures in the desert are some of the most poisonous so they can survive. If you're just breezing through, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment. 
give us a video idea so we can cover it and give you credit for it. Also, if you're just visiting Vegas and you want to browse on through and get some free stuff while you're in town, hit up our website, VegasForFreeNow.com. We'll make sure you guys get some cool stuff for doing a timeshare tour in Vegas. Free Vegas never hurt nobody. We do videos every single week. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.